on in West Africa coming from this zero degrees and once this conquering of this empire we got to understand Mu this prehistoric mound empire and the great arc the great arc of a hemisphere 180 degrees in the Bering Strait of this time of Sagittarius and the ending of Sagittarius which makes this death we got to understand so this prime meridian from the month of Tammuz until this time of the winter solstice were essential to these calculations and forming the first calendars of these ancient we understand the ancient Kadim Kadam and the, the Hebrew character for Q in the horizon to be here and to calculate the time using the observance of locales landmarks was essential to this coast here and this great art So when we look at the Far East, Asia Minor, and these regions, and we look at Genesis the 10th chapter, um, we look at the lands of Shem, Ham, and Japheth. When we look at Shem and some of the sons of Shem, you'll notice that some of these sons of Shem eventually also became uh, enemies of the Israelites down the lines, you'll find that the descendants of Abraham's marriage with Keturah, the Midianites, who are also Shemitic Hebrews, um, were in conflict with Israel in Numbers, the 31st chapter. So it's, it's, it's essential when, when studying to understand that these are all families, brothers, or brothers that eventually had Turn this around. So each one of these these staircases that you see here, uh, when we look at the thirteenth, thirteen, and its significance in um, a calendar is in this reference of weeks. All right, when we look at thirteen and ninety one, the ninety one days in between each season so as you see here at this monument if you started from September and what I mean by September let me show you if you started from September from when the beginning when this uh, which is the spring equinox which occurs with the show you if you started from September from when the beginning when this uh, which is the spring equinox which occurs with this alignment of this balance of the celestial heavens 91 days each day going up just once there until the 91st day you would begin the new season so if we did that for all of fall and then turn around and took another 91 steps for the winter. 
this is how this monument here, um, in this format of this cross, this ancient pattern, this ancient sign. We look at the sign of Jonas, the sign of <laughs> three days and three nights, pi, the significant things became formulas and different mathematical equations that created balance and understanding for architectures to build homes, to build places, dwellings, which the earth was supposed to be a remnant of a dwelling, if you will. So when we look at this need of creating this 13th month, this is this is when we look at the Ethiopian calendar, right? Their time frame is their their year is not the same as this Gregorian calendar, although both having um, what we know as thir uh, uh, not having thirteen months. The Gregorian calendar and the Coptic calendar are are one and the same. Just the naming of the different months are going mathematically with their linguistic significance. But the calculation of days is, is is similar the same. So this is similar the same. So this is why leap years, every fourteen, every four years, or every fourteen hundred and sixty days, is when these these measurements and alignments and observations took place to know whether they would retreat a year or not. These things had to be calculated. So when we look at these ancient civilizations and this need of when forming a civilization and forming certain orders, uh, the, the lunar, which is 12 months of 30 days versus the different solar months, which for one, when you look at the 13 weeks of, of, of four seasons of 13 weeks, 91 days to represent uh, the different, different, the different topological significance with agriculture. So the Americas held an advantage in regards to agriculture because of location and the sun and being a landmass connected to all the way to the peakiest point of the center, all the way to the most extremity down into South America. This landmass was connected. So when these ancient travelers began their navigations and they began travels, the significance of pi and mathematics and the measures of the heavens and the hemisphere 180 degrees, that hump, that mound significance, when you look at the mound and the hump, the, the womb of the earth and to dwell within the earth, to dwell within the dwelling and how they form tents and how they form their locations, even within the significance of the Hebrew language, all of these things provide a function and a purpose of understanding that are based upon things that everyone can observe. So when we look at Pi and we look at the significance of three days and three nights, the sign of Jonas and the well, even uh, what else I want to say? Um... Sound, because sound and the formation of the earth, you know what I'm saying? It was light when the earth was without form and void. It was the sound of light that formed. So sound waves in, in the different time frames and procession, all of these things had to be identified and signified within language to explain creation and explain the formation. So every position within a hemisphere had to be formulated or calculated. This is how shapes and signs, um, even to this day, can still be considered demonic or or not. When you understand this, the, the, the connection with shapes, whether knowingly or unknowingly. In West Africa, coming from this zero degrees, and once this conquering of this empire... We gotta understand Mu, this prehistoric mound empire, and the great arc, the great arc of a hemisphere, 180 degrees, and the Bering Strait of this time of Sagittarius and the ending of Sagittarius, which makes this death. We gotta understand. So this prime meridian from the month of Tammuz until this time of the winter solstice right, were essential to these calculations. 
and forming the first calendars of these ancient, we understand the ancient, Kadim, Kadam, and the, the Hebrew character for Q in the horizon to be here and to calculate the time using the observance of locales, landmarks, was essential to this coast here and this great art. Look at the fish and the Dagon and uh, the former and the creation and the sound, the beat, the drums, and the early priesthood, prehistoric priesthood was very significant when it comes to the calendars and to the forming of civilizations. This is how we can trace and decipher chronology of civilizations to this day is because of use of signs and symbols in certain empires under certain kings that has allowed for us to historically document ideologies when we look at the priesthood in this universal context especially in this region of India and we look what took place to the Brahmas and to uh, Chaldi and to the ancient lands of Kush. We can trace through Cam Cambodia and some of these lands ancient prophecies. Ultimately, the exploitation of the earth has taken precedent over truth. The need to exchange commerce has distorted truth to where spiritual practices are now acquired through purchase or through finances. These things are, are not commercial. These things cannot be part of commerce. One spiritual uh, path or journey in this earth is intended for one to come with peace with the thought of never dying but understanding death and judgment karma so these times of the, of the winter were were made one really reflect and repent. So when you look at these lands of Asia and these different lands here, uh, these are you find a lot of sanctuaries and a lot of places where uh, prayer also karma. So these times of the, of the winter were 
were made one really reflect and repent. So when you look at these lands of Asia and these different lands here, uh, these are you find a lot of sanctuaries and a lot of places where uh, prayer also where we find the worship, a lot of groves and what have you, and meditation locations. This location was completely on the other side of the hemisphere for the for the for the Asiatic. So when we look at the term Asiatics and the Amu people, these ancient, what some will call the Hyksos, Hyksos people. What's up, Essence? My bad. I, you you had asked a question, and I didn't, I didn't even get to see that you had asked a question until this in the calorie, how this 13th month got put together. So to combine the solar with the lunar and to, to balance the remainder beyond the 360 days that was outlined under the lunar calendar this 13th month was to to measure this time period sometimes this month could be five to six days depending on the different measures how how they measured it you know i really don't know but supposedly um they measured it every four years every 14 60 days not knowing i don't know what instruments or what technology they use to today to take their measures um in their calendars but uh every every 1460 days you can check it out they would do this so the coptic calendar is almost the same as the gregorian calendar the only september and all of these these months they just added and changed different names but the mathematics is 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 all the same so the lunar is 360, but you still have to take into account for the remainder of the time of the solar. So that's why the 13th month was essential. And this month of sunshine and evaluation of this measure, this balance, this is why the equinoxes and this is why this location right here is so monumental. It's because on the equinox, it lets you know that it's the equinox. It lets you know that there's a balance in the sun's light with the moonlight, lunar, by this silhouette that occurs on this landmass here. So a whole 180 degrees from here is where we come to this time now, the spring. Right back at you like you left something, right? So, you know. So, what we see here, right? Let me turn this around. So, each one of these, these staircases that you see here, uh, when we look at the 13th, 13. And its significance in um, a calendar is in this reference of weeks. All right, when we look at 13 and 91, the 91 days in between each season. So as you see here at this monument, if you started from September, and what I mean by September, let me 